Hi guys, my name is Luthias and welcome to the top 10 tips <clears throat> for Canyon Lands. And today, within a very, very short video, I am going to give you guys the 10 best tips for the new map that you got that I can help you guys survive longer and give you guys some tips about what's important on the map and what you need to focus on. Now, I'm a fresh spawn. As you guys can see, I spawn with a map, usually glasses, which I take off, a shirt, and a flashlight, shoes, and a pants. Okay, so I've got six slots I can use. Normally, when you're spawning, you want to focus on these wooden pellets. They are very important for base building. You can grab some wood logs as well, which is going to be important for some base building as well. And then, of course, you focus on... Um, you focus on rags because you're going to use rags for a lot of the stuff that you need okay and then of course right there we see there's a baseball bat and a baseball bat's going to be very very important for it's going to be very important for protection and the reason why the smoke is disappearing is because I normally have my view distance on 2048. So if I just go to graphics and I set it a bit higher, then the smoke won't disappear anymore. Okay, I set it so that I know I can maybe get to an airdrop. And yeah, so I don't see an airdrop very, very far away and I waste my time going after it. So if I don't see the smoke, I normally don't go after it, but when it glitches like that, I'll, you know, when it's right at, right on the board, I'll make the view distance a bit further. Now, the first tip that I can give you is to focus on these um, cactuses, because when cactuses with these little red uh, prickly pears will give you little red prickly pears that gives you about 6% food and 3% fluid okay these are the main things that you will need to survive because uh, it helps a lot with the food and I think they can stack up to five so five times six is about 30% food and five times three is about 15% um, water okay so if you just walk around as you're exploring the map if you just walk around and look for the um, cactuses which have the red prickly pears on them you won't get a prickly pear on every single one okay and sometimes you get rotten prickly pears so you'll have to run through a few of them but those are your main survival um, things that you're going to need to focus on while you're walking around especially when it comes to your food and your water other things when it comes to food there's a lot of animals that you can kill which you can get meat from and then if you just get 10 rocks somewhere you know you can make a fireplace put the wood logs or the lumber that you got in the fireplace and then you know craft a fire drill or you know use matches or lighter to light the fire and then you can cook the meat when it comes to water then there are two caves on the map which you which has clean water within it so you can go to the caves at any point fill up a jerry can or a canteen or a water jug take it to your base and you'll always have clean water okay or you can take a canteen fill it up you'll always have clean water and if you're brave enough to loot the towns then you're gonna get water purification tablets which is gonna solve your water problem as well okay and if you can loot if you get anti-rads then of course you can drink from the rivers and then just you know get rid of the radi radiation that you picked up with the anti-rads or with the blue mushrooms all right and yeah um tip number two is that rocks are very easy to come by okay because it's canyon lands okay we, we're surrounded by rocks so when it comes to resources for base building, rocks are the least of your worries, okay? And then when it comes to wood, trees like this are normally going to give you about 18 wood logs, okay? Which converts to 9 um, lumber, which isn't great, okay? But except for 
um, trees like that, you're going to get wood um, wood piles on the ground. Okay, I'm just going to, I'll be back now and I'm just going to show you what a wood pile looks like. Okay, so this is what a wood pile looks like. Okay, you can search it for wood. There's no wood in it at the moment. Somebody has already looted it, but normally it gives you a few wood logs by just looting it. And then if you take a hatchet or an axe to it, it will give you extra wood logs. Okay, and I've already done this process for you guys. It will give you about 35 wood logs, which is double what a tree gives you. Okay, but of course, um, Wooden crates are the biggest resource when it comes to lumber. And in the one of the towns in Canyon Lands, Bull Hollow, you will get um, three factories, okay? And I'm just gonna go to that factory quickly and just show you guys how fantastic it is to, to harvest or, you know, to loot the lumber piles and how it can help you to create a base very, very quickly. So I'll be back right now. Okay, so here we are at the factory. Okay, I hope someone has looted all of these wooden crates. Let's just see here quickly. Okay, one, two. Okay, so every wooden crate is supposed to give you two lumber if somebody has looted it, okay? And this is what large clans usually do is they come to these wooden logs or these um, wooden pellets and they farm the lumber okay remember you need two wood logs for one lumber so let me show you how quickly i can gather 64 lumber quickly Don't worry about the spiders, they will pop up because you're looting this, these places, but just run a bit away from them and they will explode at some point. So you don't have to worry about them. And of course, if you want to build up a quad because quads, um, you know, quads despawn after six hours so there's always a quad somewhere if you want to build up a quad these factories are great for vehicle parts as well the vehicle parts that you can see lying around and of course every single crate with uh with the icon can give you vehicle parts as well okay so let's see where we are now 60 okay so within this short period of time, I got 64 lumber. You will need to hit a tree 128 times, okay, to get this amount of lumber. And if you go to base building, you will see that on structures and walls, we can already craft 36, 48, um, 60. Yeah, we can already craft five walls with just that, okay? So if we get one and a half stacks of lumber, we can build a base. So if you've got 20 rocks, yeah, because the foundations takes 20 rocks, okay? So if you've got 20 rocks with six lumber for the, the foundation and the plot sign, and you've got an extra one and a half stacks of lumber, you can build a complete base. Okay, and then you just need a few wood logs to get it with a bit more lumber, you know, and to to make the wooden crates. And of course, you need to get the guide for the larger one. Okay, so yeah, factories are great for wood. Okay, guys. And then tip number three is that in the south, there are various attractions. Okay, but there are three towns which have various which have various attractions and and danger levels um and then you have settlements all over all over the show okay and they are probably safer for looting and then you've got areas in the southeast cave and the surrounding areas that are, have got quite 
great loot. And then last of all, you've got Area 52 right up in the north that has the best loot. Um, but it's, of course, very, very dangerous to go there in populated areas. Okay. So I'm just going to go outside quickly in the sun and show you guys the map. Map is always at number five. Alt, shift, and use the alt. So we are in Bull Hollow right here. Okay. Now you can see the two cave entrances there and the other cave entrance there. Okay, so if we go from the hospital, you can see Bull Hollow as a hospital. If we go up that white road, we can get into the dead end of that cave. And in the cave, there's clean water, there's small settlements and, you know, small little places for loot. But the, the biggest attraction is Serpent's Gate um, down the road. So if you go right through Bull Hollow, you're going to get to Serpent's Gate, which is nice loot there. Ruby's Bend is, of course, also a very, very nice location. And then Blind Water. I love Blind Water. There's some great loot there as well. And then um, Thunder Alley is a quiet area. Okay, but these are also great places for loot. And like I say, that cave has got clean water. And then that cave there, Silver Run, has got clean water as well. Okay. And then you've got basically got Bull Hollow, which is the most dangerous town in Canyonlands because of the hospital. You will see Elder Stone and Yellow Roost doesn't have a hospital. So everyone wants to come here for medical gear and hazmat gear. Okay. And then your second most dangerous town is Yellow Roost due to it also having, it, it's the only, I don't want, I, yeah, it's got a gun store. And it's got other stores, okay, with various loot, which makes it the second um, most sought after town. And then you've got Elderstone, which is which is a bit quiet, okay. It hasn't got a lot of resources there, you know. But if you want to um, harvest safely, you know, it's a great option. And then right here at the top, you've got Area Fifty Two. But like I said, all these small settlements have got loot by them. Okay, and they're much safer to go to go loot. Okay. Now, when it comes to the first location, which is Bull Hollow, the main reason for Bull Hollow is the factories, which gives you the lumber. Although you can get lumber at various other places. Okay. Then it's got a... Um, small little places there that you can hide in okay so there's a church tower there which you can find a weapon in and one of the houses you can go down into the ground okay and there's some great loot inside there as well and then the main attractions here are the kiosk the hardware store and the clothing shop okay if any of you are familiar with orca um orca dam then you know or Orca Island, you will know what the hospital has. It's exactly the same hospital as at Orca. Okay, so here at the kiosk, um, we can of course apply our skins and transfer items that we may be collected on other servers. And then in the hardware store, we've got uh, various vehicle parts. And then here you'll get some weapons as well. So here we've got a pickaxe and we've got a hammer and we've got a knife, okay. And depending on how many people are in the area, okay, and you've got rope and various vehicle parts. And then here in the clothing store, you can get yourself some cool boots and some cool pants, which I'm definitely going to take. I love the green army pants. And just click there for yourself. And yeah, you've got some gloves and take the clothing and tear it into rags if you're lucky enough to get here and there's loot here. You know, use everything you can. And yeah, this is a this is a nice location. Like I say, great place to get some rags. And then, of course, the biggest factor here in this town is the hospital. Okay. And the hospital is down there. And yeah. For any of you that don't know what the hospital is all about, I'll show you right now. Okay, so when you get to the hospital, just watch out. There are two various ways to get onto the roof. 
so you will get roof campers but the hospital is full of medical gear okay you just look for that little arrow that comes that comes along okay and you can get various various gear here there's a gas mask i'm going to throw that away i'm going to consume that i'm going to turn that into repair kit because we need teflon um, for the hazmat gear to repair any hazmat item okay and when it comes you can get you can get anti-rads and antibiotics and everything here and then a lot of rags because all of these things have got rags okay so it's a fantastic place to get rags and all, most of these um, dead bodies here have got clothing and then electronics yeah then you can search these medical like yeah that's the medical and then you can search these medical um, shelves to get um, a hazmat mask okay so we're very lucky there that we got a hazmat mask um let's take the hazmat mask off for now like i said you can get rags there and then the radiation suit i'm just going to wear it to have four extra slots but what i want you to focus on is the the hazmat mask has got 33 percent radiation gas resistance and that is the thing that's protecting you from radiation in Area 52. Where if you look at the, the, the hazmat suit, it's only got heat, cold resistance, humidity resistance, rain, acid rain, radiation rain, you know, fire resistance, electricity existence. So its, it's main goals are um, humidity resistance to protect you against cold and heat and then rain resistance you know and acid rain resistance so it's protecting you from getting wet and cold or being um you know being hurt by acid rain and then it protects you against electricity okay so you can probably run through the electricity zone in or in orca but the main goal is here we're going to turn this into into um, canvas as well if we are ever lucky enough to find the if we are ever lucky enough to find the uh, yeah sorry guys orange and green puffy jacket i think that's worth something on the steam store but we won't know so yeah i'm not gonna look for the gas cannons to pack guys um i'm just gonna run through here quite quickly and show you again rags okay rags are fantastic inside here Crannies are fantastic for ammunition, okay? You get um, trash that gives you duct tape and stuff that you need. Um, so yes, if no one has looted the area, this place is you know, fantastic for um, medical gear, matches, you know, everything you need. Survivortron, we can't carry the Survivortron. Like I say, always wait for the scroll wheel to come up okay and then just look around there we get potassium and we're going to want the potassium for a test that we're going to do so i'm going to throw that away i'm going to turn that into repair kit repair my pickaxe and then i'm going to take the potassium and i want i want one anti-red okay so i can show you um that you can still that you can still go into the area 52 with just the hazmat mask if you lucky enough to find the gas canister pack okay then fantastic for you you'll be able to stay in there forever you'll be able to stay in area 52 forever just um be very careful because most of the clans build bases there so they'll be able to kill you quite quickly so yeah let's just check your propane tank rags 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 like i told you guys rags are great yeah you get some great weapons and a gas canister pack and stuff okay police handcuffs you do get cool items there don't worry about it so i'm sure i'm gonna find antibiotic bandage i'm sure i'm gonna find anti-rads here because this room this room is quite cool another hazmat mask holy crap two hazmat masks in one run 
that is some lucky stuff man but in any case let's just quickly look for another potassium okay we won't so, say no for another potassium and we won't say no for another potassium and then we won't say no for a water bottle no nope. we're not going to kill people right now we're not going to get poisoned uh but we are going to consume that so that we don't die of thirst and we're not going to really worry about the three percent radiation that we picked up and we are gonna get anti-reds we are gonna get anti-reds come on there we go there we go we've got an anti-red let's just see if we can get another anti-red maybe let's see look at these little shells here water jug so if i go to the cave then um I can fill up that water jug, no problem. The crannies have always, always got ammunition for me. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Salt is good if you kill an animal. Salt will help you to. Um, I'm sure gonna take the salt with me. Now that's a heat pack. I'm gonna take the salt. What do I have to throw down? Okay, we want the map. So let's throw the heat pack down. Let's take the salt. And with all the rags that we've collected here, what we can do immediately is go to our equipment and um, go to components, make a rope. And then we make a horseshoe pack so that we're not too limited by that great so how much we've got left let's summer do that again and then go to bags and make a fanny pack and we give ourselves eight slots eight extra slots one time so we don't need to worry about finding a backpack okay finding a backpack isn't difficult but at least we don't have to worry about it anymore okay so i'm going to guides fantastic man you know we can always get guides here which is great just searching properly is always the answer for that and yes we just run around we collect rags okay we collect rubbing alcohol and we collect anti-reds and potassium chem lights and everything we want so we just run through it matches are great we want matches for the fires if, and there we go okay two anti rads is perfect guys and yes the fourth tip is basically bull hollow okay bull hollow you guys can clearly see is a very very hot zone there's a lot of reasons to be here but the most important part about Bull Hollow is that it's close to the cave system as well. There's Bull Hollow, there's the cave and with all the settlements, okay? And the caves have got nice resources as well. So when it comes to this place, behind that mountain is where the cave is and down there is where the settlements are, okay? So people love building their bases there on the hills and the surroundings. So I'm going to quickly show you what the settlement, what the settlements down there look like. And then we're going to move to the two other towns before we end up at um, Area 52. Okay guys, so I'm driving right past the hospital out of Bull Hollow. Okay, there you can see the sign says Serpent's Gate, Ruby Bend and Blind Water. <coughs> okay and we're not gonna have to drive for a very very long time so yes here we are at ruby's bend okay nice little paintings here nice space uh, places to loot of course you can put a base down here okay so these are the cool settlements around the cave and if you study the map, you can get into the cave from here. Okay, and here we get to Blind Water, guys. Um, 
a place that I really like. It's quite big. It's got quite a bit of loot around here. And yeah, I just like this area. And there's a ton of settlements behind me as well, like this one. But Blind Water, definitely one of my favorites. And uh, yeah, I don't know why that why that gap there is attracting my attention. I have already looked for the secret for about four days, the secret passage. If anyone ever finds the secret passage, please let me know. So yeah, I don't know why I'm looking at that because I've I've ran around this mountain about 20 times and I've run around in the cave about 20 times. So yeah, in any case, um, really great area this. Got good uh, vehicle parts here. You can find hazmat gear. And right down there, um, down there is the, is the entrance to the cave as well. Okay, so as you guys can see around the cave, there's a lot of great settlements. Okay. And if you don't want an animal to run away from you, then just kill these little pigs. You can carry them with you as well. But they're really good food source. And like I said, they don't run away from you like the donkeys or the goats, you know, or the other animals that we used to. And of course, scorpions um, gives you meat as well. Okay, so you kill the scorpions. Quite a nice base here that the guys put down. I like his design. There aren't any boats on Canyonlands, but still like his design there. Quite impressed. And yes, very vast open spaces, guys. And like I say, there are dangerous areas, but there are ways for you to be very isolated as well and just enjoy yourselves. So yes, that's Bull Hollow. Let's get to Yellow Roost, uh, tip number five, and let's see what that town has to offer. Okay, guys, if you, if you drive down the road, I'm just explaining to you what I'm doing now, okay? So let's get out the map. What I'm doing now is I'm driving from... Bull Hollow, I'm driving directly to Yellow Roost, okay? And then from Yellow Roost, we're going to drive down to Elderstone. But from, um, from Bull Hollow to Yellow Roost, there's a gas station, and that is the gas station that we're looking at now, okay? The gas station have, has got um, great vehicle parts and weapons as well. I found a duffel bag on top of that gas station's roof. I, f I found a gun there on top of Route 88's roof. Okay, so great gun spawns here and duffel bags and stuff. It's a great, it's a great location. And let's get going to Yellow Roost. Okay, guys, I don't want to make this video too long. So I'm going to give you a quick um, run through of Yellow Roost. Okay, the main attractions of Ye Yellow Roost is that there's a tractor behind that barn. Um, houses that you can loot the church is a is a great place for medical gear weapons and other equipment okay so the church is a hot spot then you've got the store for food you've got uh, the barber shop that is closed you've got the hardware store and you know what you can find in the hardware store and then it's got this um, max gym okay max gym has got a weapon here sometimes okay backpacks tools um, a boxing bag you can hit vending machines where you can get um water you know from yastas and water bottles and everything and it's got lockers that can give you weapons sometimes okay and if you want to you can go hit the bag but it's not going to move it's got the diner diner's got weapons and food it's got this casual um, clothing store, and we know what the casual clothing store has. It's got the garage station where you can use the the fuel pumps, okay, to get fuel from. And then let's just make sure 
Yeah, it's got the houses and the most important place that it's got right here. Again, the Bull Hollow has got a paint shop as well, where you can paint your, where you can take your, park your vehicle into the garage that's lighted up, and you can apply skins there with M coins. I'm just gonna sort this guy out. Okay. Looks like he got hurt somewhere. I'm not sure where he got hurt because it's supposed to take two shots to kill them. Okay, so the gun store is the main place. Okay, you get ammunition here, various weapons, various tools. I'm going to take the axe. Not going to take the bin bags, but yes, various ammo and army clothing, weapons inside of these glass. Um, cases here and yeah um, military clothing as always okay so yes that's about it for yellow roost let's get to Alderstone Okay, so here we are at Elderstone. As you can see, within the entrance, there's vehicles that can give you weapons and everything. And as you will see, there are houses that you can loot, but there aren't a lot of hot spots. Okay. Quite a big town, a lot of small little houses and a nice little camping site there, which I've had a few fights in. Quite nice. And then it's got the motel, and it's got the capital munch for food. And then it's got a gun store as well. Clearly I haven't been to Elderstone enough times because I haven't been to the gun store. Hmm. Let's take that shotgun, we can use that. Got a small flashlight, katana, grenades ammunition ammunition yes the elder scroll has got a gun store as well what would you know so yes guys all three towns have got its hot spots so while i'm looking at it now it looks like Yellow Roost is actually the quietest town to be at. So yes, Bull Hollow and Alderstone are quite very nice areas. And let's go let's just go make a turn at the burger joint. And then we're gonna drive right past um, Yellow Roost and we're gonna head to zone fifty two. Okay guys, just an extra little tip here. We are now at the T-junction in Yellow Roost. Okay, there's Yellow Roost Church and there's the gun store. My favorite location to Area 52 is up here. And when we look at the map, I'm now in Yellow Roost. Okay, so right here at the gas station, which is right here in front of me. Okay, right at the gas station, I'm gonna go up over the river and I'm going to go into zone 52 okay but if you look at zone 52 I'm going to take the most right side into zone 52 while I'm going up I can take the left hand road and take the other two entrances 
into zone 52 or I can drive right through Yellow Roost, go all the way around and come in the backside of zone 52 which if you want to go that wide is probably the safest route because when it comes to players camping they're probably going to camp that t-junction and that t-junction to get into zone 52 so going to zone 52 with a vehicle on a populated server isn't the best idea but since the server is quiet now we're going to take the direct route so i'll be back with you guys now now Okay, here we are. So this is the T-junction that I told you guys about. I'm going to go through that open area in front of us, but we can go left and enter around the canyon. And then a lot of people build their base right there on that hill, okay, to cover the entrance, or they'll build their bases there to cover this area as well. A lot of places here can build a base. And with a quad, it's easy, but I don't suggest you coming here with a quad. I'd rather suggest you come in here with the... Uh, with, with a vehicle, if you want to. Okay, if you can find a vehicle, come in here with a vehicle. But what we're basically going to do it, right now is we're going to go halfway into this corridor. Then we're going to take the potassium. And then we're going to put on the mask. And then as soon as that radiation hits, I'm not even going to wait for it. I'll see if it hits 4%. Yeah, there it hits 4%. So I'm going to take my anti-rad right now. And the reason I like coming in on the right hand side is because on the right side of the area 52 are bunkers. Okay, and the tower. The tower I can use to look at the military base. See if anyone's running around in there. There's a lot of vehicles for me to loot right here. But my main focus is going to be right down there where you see the little hill. Those are the bunkers. So we can use that tower to look um, down on the military base. But that is not our focus. Our focus is going to be to loot the three bunkers. So that's the military base. I could have gone around the canyon to get into a closer position for that and here's a vehicle here which is not good I think he's going to hear me crawling guys, but here's a bunker right underneath me. There's a bunker right there. And there's a bunker right there. Okay. So I think it's three or four bunkers. Um, it's five bunkers in total, but two of them are closed. So there's only three bunkers that you can loot. And like you guys can see, I can stay inside here. Okay, so if I came from that side, I could have looted the military base. But, yeah, at the back of that um, dam is the air, a UFO crash site with extra tents. So, you know, if you want to drive with your quad to the back, that's fine. But I'm giving you a good idea how long you can stay in here with just the mask and the tablets okay your vision is going to get a bit blurred but it's not that bad and since we are done with this area and i've showed you guys that you can stay in here quite long let's try and have some fun So there's number one. That one's closed off.
Here's the other one. He's got a. He's got a, a cool truck. Trendy. Okay, buddy, I'm friendly as well. Just showing, showing stuff around, right? Yeah, I know. I know Lopias. <laughs> okay, bud. Okay, guys, our friend is gonna go back with the SUV and loot the uh, Area 52 further. And like you heard with the advice or. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to cut out the talking because there was a lot of echo with it. But what he basically told me um, or told us is that with the alien, with an alien space helmet, which you can get um, from Orca Island. Okay, if you guys ever put it in your kiosk, then you can use it because it gives you 100% radiation resistance if it's fully repaired and it can take a headshot from an AR which enables you to carry everything you want, okay? Where with the hazmat mask, you can carry everything you want, like a duffel bag and everything, but you're gonna be limited by time, as you guys can clearly see. And a gas canister pack weighs 7.5 kilograms, so it weighs you down and it's only got 10 slots, okay? So it limits you with what you can take out of there. And as you told me, um, there's a lot of legendary spawns in area 52 so it's definitely worth it you know to go in there as you can clearly see with just the mask and the potassium and the anti rage you're in a bit of a rush you can probably stay in there for about 10 minutes but having the gas canister pack is unfortunately a must if you want to stay in there or log out in there or not be in a rush and have a better chance in a fight and then if you are lucky enough to get a space helmet or you got a space helmet previously um, from Orca Dam you know then you can take it out of the kiosk and yeah just run into the radiation zone with the space helmet fully repaired which is going to give you 100% radiation resistance I personally haven't found a space helmet on this map yet, but if I find one, you guys will be the first one to know. And because I'm going to continue the series on the server, I'm sure we're going to see, you know, if I can find one somewhere. Because at the moment, the only people, according to me, that have space helmets are the ones who have found it with the alien drops um, on Orca Dam and they've they've brought it here okay i'm not even sure if the alien um drops still happen on orca dam but i know a lot of people collected the space helmets put it in their kiosks and they bring it here which is a great idea because it takes away all that carry weight so the space helmet is definitely a must the only bad thing is you can you can lose it with one fight you know, if somebody kills you, it's gone. So it's up to you guys, okay? Me personally, if I can't find the gas canister pack, I'll definitely do a few runs, you know? Get in, get out, get in, get out. But as you can clearly see, if you meet someone in there, you're gonna have to fight. And who knows, maybe he's got what you want, okay? So for instance, if I don't know that guy, I could have killed him if I went in there with an AR and a sniper rifle, okay? Definitely had the drop on him. He didn't know who I was. He came out into vision, said he's friendly. If I was, you know, if I wanted his gear, I could have killed him and taken his alien helmet. So various options that you guys have. So yeah, I'm just getting back to my quad and yeah. There are basically three hotspots for building your base. The first hotspot is all around this Area 52. Okay, that should be obvious. And <clears throat> like I say, a lot of people build their base on this hill here. 
So if you build your base on this hill here, you can look at everyone coming in, okay? So you can just sit in your base, wait until you hear footsteps or a vehicle, and you know somebody's gone in, and you can hunt them down, or you can just, you know, put traps down for them. A lot of options you've got here. And there's the other location that people build bases. So if we go to the map, then around area 52 is your first hot spot for building a base and then in my series you guys will see that i've got a base at the wall dam serenity dam okay me and avengers got a base left and right as close to the dam wall as possible because it is blocked off from everything we can get to area 52 we can get to the towns okay we've got freedom and you will see in my series that at the dam wall there's loot that spawns below the dam wall that is quite good okay ARs, <coughs> ARs and legendary spawns and stuff like that so it's a really 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 hidden gem there and then the third hot spot would of course be a, around bull hollow or elder stone now that i know elder stone is not too bad so elder stone elder stone and close to the caves would be a more um you know quieter choice and then bull hollow with the caves here is going to be a more active choice because according to me bull hollow is the main pvp zone due to the hospital and yes guys that's tip number nine um i'm basically done and tip number 10 is the map is half the size okay so it's it's a bit pvp based so pvp is a big factor on this map but there are wide open spaces and a lot of space to hide okay so you can see players far away okay so it's quite easy to get away except if you're running into them and they're hiding behind rocks and because of the vast open spaces the map is completely different okay it's a completely different experience and after studying the entire map and getting used to it i still prefer orca island uh, but it, you know in the long run i think i'll prefer orca, orca island because orca island entertained me or ex excited me for longer than um canyonlands but that's just because it's twice the size and then i still love it because i love the choices okay i can go and relax on orca island gather some resources and maybe bring it back here with a kiosk or I can come and play here and it's two completely different experiences which I love a lot okay so you've got it's two completely different experiences so I think it's a really really great thing and a breath of fresh air okay guys but yeah I hope you enjoyed it I hope the video wasn't too long so if you enjoyed this video then please press that like button for me and if you're not subscribed yet, then subscribe right now because everything on this channel will only improve, okay? And it's your one-stop channel um, to know everything about Misgraded and, of course, other games that's going to give us the same kind of experience. So hit that bell button because I'm going to up the quality in 2020 and I'm going to start streaming as well, okay? And, yeah still going to do great series and we're going to have a lot of fun and if you guys have any questions my discord is down below in the description so you can come and join my discord channel which has a great community that love people love to help people just like me and yeah overall if you've got any other questions please join the discord um i'm on there daily and i'm more than willing to help anyone okay and for anyone that um, wants to join me, I'm on UK2. My base is at the edge of the damn wall. So if you guys want to come and build bases close to me, you know, and have some fun with me, you're more than welcome, guys. This Luthias. Have a great day. And again, thank you for spending some time with me. Cheers. There we go, boys. My own little base with the resources that I crafted from the beginning of the video and I just used my pickaxe for 20 rocks for the platform as you can see it works very well I just pull it and I walk into my little home I can walk out it's locked 
got the vision that I spoke to you guys about with the entrance and what I never knew and I don't know if you guys know it if you build your base on that side you've got your own wooden planks going to area 52 and yeah if you build the base where I built my base just now let's put on the marsh salon whoa unbelievable okay there the radiation goes up I just want to check this out man goodness gracious me okay I've got my own little Got my own little route here. Hey guys, I've got a cute base. I'm not gonna play on this server, but I've got a cute base there. Let us see how far we can get with this potassium anti-red. 